So hello, welcome back to another one of my vlogs. Um, I'm just going to sit down and chit chat to you guys while I do my makeup. So the foundation I'm going to use today is this uh, Revolution IRL filter foundation. I'm not a huge fan of this. It's okay. Um, my usual foundation is the Revlon Color Stay. I'm in the um, shade Caramel, but I'm running out of this. However, I have asked one of my work colleagues for another one for Christmas. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and um, use this one and I am in the shade F13.5. Uh, picked this up uh, when I went to Blue Water with Child. But yeah, I thought I would just sit down and do my makeup and have a chit chat with you guys simply because I have so much to show but I haven't really had um, the time to film and if I'm looking upwards it's because my mirror is to the side so I can actually see what I'm doing. Let me just have a sip of water. So I'm trying to drink more water again this is my um hydrate mate water bottle i used to have the pink one but my mum stole it um so now i have this lilac one which they sent me i think it was last year so it's got a tracker so you can track how much water you're drinking and yeah i'm trying to trying to drink a lot more water again i have a bad habit of drinking a lot of fizzy drinks not so much now but i used to and i'm spending thousands at the dentist i did mention a little while ago i'm having ongoing um dental treatment um i did go to the dentist last week and i think it was last week um to have a root canal and then next year i've got to have one more root canal and a couple of fillings and um fingers crossed that should be it but it's literally costing me thousands it's ridiculous because i'm having private treatment and yeah so that is fun um so i'm not entirely sure when i last film it wasn't last weekend it was the um weekend before and i just don't really have time to film because i'm never at home i don't like filming during the week because i work during the week and then i see charlton twice a month and then i have two weekends at home so the weekends i'm home like today is when i will usually like film and stuff ideally i don't really like posting um like animal videos back to back but because I don't really have much time to film I don't really have much time to edit I just sort of do what I can when I can. So today is the 12th of December and I haven't filmed any form of like festive content which is quite unusual for me um but I've decided that I'm not going to be doing like vlogmas this year I haven't done vlogmas for years but I used to do something called like festive vlog where I'll film either weekly content or like daily content but I'll just film maybe like 13 days or something like that and not the full like 24 25 days like you do with vlogmas um but this year this might actually be the only kind of festive related vlog that I get out I've got a bit of cat hair on my chin Bella's hair gets everywhere it's absolutely ridiculous oh and I painted my nails I never paint my nails haven't painted my nails in ages but they're really pretty pink color so I used the um Barry M base coat and um top coat so that looks like this and then the pink color is just this Rimmel one so 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 pretty um it's just like a really nice subtle pink I'm not sure how long these will last with work this week um but I just felt like painting my nails really um and sorry if the lighting is a bit poop it's very dark outside it's very overcast and we had snow last night um it's been absolutely freezing in the uk it's been like minus something i quite like how this foundation looks actually i think the reason why i don't love it is because it does apply quite nicely but um i have really oily skin so over time it just ends up looking really bad i feel like the only foundation that kind of works for me is this revlon color stay one because this is made for um this particular one is for combination to oily skin um but anyways i'm going to go in with my powder so i'm just using this um collection primed and ready invisible setting powder i can just see it getting darker and darker and this is um one thing i hate about filming in the autumn winter we just get little to no sunlight i like filming with natural light and i hate filming with um artificial lighting um but yeah so i've just got so much to share with you guys i don't even know where to start i'm just like talking about all of these like random topics that are just coming to mind at the moment oh one really big thing is my hair so i think i might do a video about it next year because i have filmed like some footage kind of here and there so my natural hair texture is 
4C so it's um, so it's tight and coily. I did actually wear my natural hair out for the whole of November. In the whole of my adult life I've never worn my natural hair out but last year, not last year, last month I actually wore my natural hair out for the entire month. I pretty much just had the same hairstyle, it was in like a low, a low bunch. Um, because I just didn't know how to style my hair. I just used my usual blush, it's just a revolution one in the shade Coral, Coral Dreams. Literally the only blusher I have. I need to get another one or two because I love blusher and it's quite nice to switch it up. So a couple of days ago, I think on Saturday after work, I went to the hairdresser. It only took about two hours, if that. And um, yeah, I got my hair chemically straightened. Um, I also got it cut and styled for the first time. I've never had my hair. Um, like cut or styled. I don't really like the style when it is straight um, but I'm going to do some heatless curl and I'm only going to put heat on my hair once a week which is when I wash my hair, I'll blow dry it and I might straighten it or I might curl it um, but I don't really want to use too much heat on my hair. Hair is all different levels. The middle is the longest part, the front is kind of short and then the back is kind of short um, so when she so when she straightened my hair she was like your hair is all different levels so she's just sort of cut it um, in a style that worked with the different levels lengths of my hair so I don't really love how it looks when it's out but I think once I curl it it will look quite nice and I was also worried that I wouldn't like it and there's also quite a bit of maintenance to having relaxed hair so you need to wash your hair every week which is something that you don't really need to do with like natural 4c hair you don't need to wash your hair that often I ordered a few hair products yesterday um, one of them actually arrived today this is a weightless dry oil mist I did try a little bit of this today um, and this is what it looks like I remember seeing this in a YouTube video and I thought oh that would be really nice to try out um, and yeah so I did put a little bit in my hair today so it's a little bit flat at the moment but it's so nice and silky so the middle part of my hair is the longest part of my hair um, as you can see but then like the back only goes like there and then the front as you can see is like just below my chin kind of over time it will it will grow however i do quite like having short hair it's such a cute look especially when it's curly there's so much variety that i can do with my hair now which is amazing my eyebrow brush is covered in cat hair because for some reason bella likes playing with my makeup brushes and she's like curled up <laughs> on my bed but this is her favorite one of my brushes and she stole it just before i started filming her fur is still absolutely everywhere because she's molting at the moment she's molting like crazy she's getting her winter coat in which looks absolutely beautiful i'm still having to brush her literally like two times a day it is ridiculous um and the eyebrow pencil i like using is this revolution one however um i had to get this new one i just got it off amazon it's a maybelline total temptation um and this is in the shade i think uh deep brown it's okay it's not the best i just like fill them in a little bit and brush them whilst i'm not actually going outside i'm just doing my makeup while i talk to you it gives you something to sort of look at rather than me just you know sitting here talking okay let's talk about um i haven't actually spoken about anything christmas related and i've already been filming for 20 minutes my battery is about to die I should have a fresh battery here so i'm gonna go ahead and pop a new battery right so i've just done the quickest eyebrows ever i'm gonna go in with this uh ted baker lip product i absolutely love this in this gorgeous berry shade and i also have a red one so it's so, so pretty also perfect for this time of year autumn winter i love dark colors um i'll wear dark colors all year round but especially um during this time of year i absolutely love dark colors on the lip i don't even think i'm gonna bother doing my mascara um because i'm just gonna wash it off again um but the mascara that i'm using at the moment is the benefit bad girl lash so it just looks like this it's an okay mascara it's not bad um, I don't think any mascara is worth any more than £10. I'm going to quickly show you guys uh, Bella's advent calendar. She is awake now. She is, um, she's cleaning herself. So this is just the Lily's Kitchen advent calendar. So these are the treats that you get in there. And I also picked up the Lily's Kitchen Turkey Feast. I'm going to give this to her on Christmas Day. She's actually not 
a fan of um, Lily's Kitchen um, food. Um, I did try her on the two kitten flavours and she didn't really like them. Um, it's mostly because she doesn't really like pate. Um, I don't blame her. But um, I thought I would try her on this because she does like turkey. Um, if she doesn't like it, I'll just give her something else. But it's got ham, um, cranberries, um, salmon oil. She might like this. I thought it was worth a try. It was only £1.19. Um, yeah, I thought it was quite cute, actually. I spent yesterday organising some of the drawers in my Alex Stein drawer. So this is how my skincare drawer looks at the moment. Um, because I'm going to be getting some new skincare products, I wanted to make sure I knew exactly what was in here and that I had some space for the new bit. And then in this drawer, this used to be my Soap & Glory drawer. However, I don't really buy Soap & Glory products anymore. So this is just a mixture of everything really um, and I don't have a dedicated um, body shop drawer either simply because they've made a lot of their products vegan therefore a lot of their products are no longer the same like the formula and stuff is different and I'm not really a fan of the new formula so you'll see I have a mixture of soap and glory body shop got this gel gel for my birthday for my work colleagues and I've got a little bit left of the um, original strawberry body butter um, but I don't think I'll be getting any of the new body shop body butter um so i've actually started using dove products so i've been using the dove shower gels for over a year now when i was getting a little bit sick of the soap and glory one and they do a range of different scents which i love so i've got a couple in my bathroom and then i thought i would try out their body lotion so this is their body butter it's quite thick and this is literally like two pounds it's so cheap um compared to like the body shop one which are like 15 to 18 pounds i think and then I also picked up this um, body lotion and um, yeah, they're both really, really good and so much cheaper than um, the body shop. And then at the back, I have two lash products, which I need to use. I'm going to try and use them up at some point um, this year. So these are two that Charlton got me when I went to London a couple of months ago. And in this drawer, I've got all Ted Baker stuff. Um, I have given a few bits away. I'm not really a huge fan of Ted Baker bath and body products. One thing I do love is this spray. This is the raspberry and orange blossom spray. It smells so good. It's more of a summery scent though. Uh, as you can see, I've used a lot of it. Um, but other than that, I just don't touch a lot of these products. And the other drawers are pretty much the same. But in this one, I've dedicated it to Christmas chocolate. I've got this Lindor from the Boss. I've got loads of these like, different Cadbury bars here. That's going to be split between work colleagues and like, family. I've got more teasers for my mum. I've got two Toblerones for my niece. Um, I wasn't entirely sure if she preferred the white chocolate or milk chocolate, so I just got both. <laughs> um, and then I've got like, these chocolates, which I haven't had before. Um, these are for one of my nephews. Um, these Cadbury's mini snowballs are so good. Um, I've also picked up these. I've never had these before, but they look really, really good. These are the Christmas cards I've got this year. So we've got this first design, and then this is the design on the back. So this is my sister's main gift this year. It's just this um, sanctuary spa gift set. So as you can see, if my camera focuses, there's a few bits and bobs in there i thought this would be something different from like the body shop soap and glory ted baker um and these smell really good i got this bottle of um vodka for my work colleague and he loves flavored vodka so this is a raspberry one and i love the bottle and then this is for my other work colleague um she says she loves red wine hopefully she likes this one not a fan of red wine um but yeah fingers crossed she likes this did you bring your lid so it's currently Sunday, um, Sunday morning. Charlton has just gone to the gym. Uh, when he gets back, we're going to be going to a um, Volkswagen dealership because he's got to sort out his key for his um, new car. We've had it for over a month now, um, but it's still, still relatively new. And then I think we're going to go to Blue Water because um, we're not too far from there. We've been there two times before um, and we just need to get some like last minute uh, Christmas bits. So I need to get a present for Charlton's dad who was seen on Christmas Day for dinner. And um, we've also been invited to his aunt's house on Boxing Day to have dinner. And she's basically put together this 
little game which I don't quite understand just yet um, but the rules are we have to buy something for a pound that we dislike and something for five pounds that we like so I'll probably get like a bottle of ketchup for a pound and I'll probably get like a, a box of chocolates or something for five pound um, so yeah I don't really know how the game is going to work but those are the rules and there's also a new avatar film out apparently it's like three hours long and uh, me and Charlton are hopefully going to book some tickets to watch that this evening in, so that would be quite nice and yeah so that is pretty much our plans for today it's already late morning um and i still need to have my breakfast i need to wash my face uh do my makeup get dressed and um charlton should be about an hour and a half at the gym so fingers crossed by the time he gets back i should be ready that's not roasting Jack Frost nipple. Please keep riding one mile. It was very sticky. So I'm offering. Oh, I don't like this. It's so great. It would be nice if you opened it. Push it once. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Right, so we are back in the car. We're going to be oh. heading to Blue Water. You can put it on that, that's flat. See? <laughs> hmm, that is kind of shit. Can't wait until the front parts of my hair get a little longer because they're just like sticking out and it really annoys me. I really wish I want my hair colours now to curl my hair because I don't like straight hair on me. It just doesn't, just doesn't look right. And I got myself a ham and cheese croissant. It's not the best lighting, but we're just getting ready to head out to the cinema to watch the um, new Avatar film. I think I mentioned it um, earlier today. So I need to pack the snacks in my bag and then we're going to be leaving out to dry to this I just put in some um, powder on top of my foundation because I have had this on for a few hours now. <laughs> home now and it's quite late um it's almost 12 o'clock so just been getting ready for bed i don't have much battery left so i have to be quick um but the film was amazing it was really really good it's one of the best films i've ever seen and we watched it in 3d and yeah it's amazing i loved the first avatar but this one was so 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 good so i definitely recommend watching it um but yeah today's been a good day it's been quite busy, kind of productive. Um, I didn't really get much in blue water. Um, I did go into Boots and returned the product that I wanted to return. We also went into Marks and Spencers and I just got two food things. Uh, we went into Bath and Body Works and Charlton picked me up a spray for Christmas and we also went into Lush. So I just picked up one thing which is for Charlton's son. Um, I got him a bath bomb. So I got him the snow drift bomb. It smells so good. It's got such a strong smell and it's made my back smell really nice. Um, but yeah, it's got like a sort of gingery, lemony, zesty scent. It's really strong. Hopefully he likes this. And um, I've also got him a Terry's chocolate orange because he's never had one before. So because I'm so tired, I couldn't be asked to wash my face. So I've just went ahead and used some um, face wipes. It's not very often that I take my makeup off with face wipes. I usually always wash my makeup off my face. I've never, ever, ever gone to bed with my makeup on. I don't know how people sleep in their makeup and just don't wash it off. Um, but if I'm feeling quite tired, like tonight, because it's quite late, I'll just go ahead and use face wipes. So they're two simple face wipes, of course. Um, I've had these for a little while because like I said, I don't really use face wipes. Um, so I've got this one. So these are just a simple cleansing facial wipes. They're really nice and gentle on the skin. And these are really good. And then I've also got these ones, which are exfoliating wipes. So these are also simple. So what I like to do is use like one or two of these first, and then I'll go in with these ones because they're a little rougher on the skin. Charlton's ready. In 
the bed and Bella is like held up on my side so I'm gonna have to disturb her so I can crawl into bed. But I'm at Charlton's house now and I think we might possibly get a takeaway and maybe watch um, a Christmas film. So Charlton picked me up from mine and then we drove to my sister's house to exchange gifts. And uh, me and Charlton have had a very slow morning. We opened gifts and I got some really good presents. So thank you to everyone who got me a present. Uh, we're currently in the car on our way to um, Charlton's dad's house at Christmas dinner because we've been invited there. I decided to kind of curl my hair today because I hate having straight hair. It just looks really weird on me. It just doesn't frame my face very well because I feel like I have a very round head. Um, so what I've done this morning is I straightened my hair again and I've just kind of like curled the ends. It's not perfect. I've done it really quickly and um, I was really struggling to do this side at the back so Charlton very kindly helped me and he didn't do a bad job. It actually turned out quite okay. I'm not too sure how much I'm going to film at um, Charlton's dad's house. I'll probably just film like a couple of clips on my phone of like dinner and stuff. There's not roasting. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering the sample frame. <laughs> so I'm back at Charlton's house now. Um, I've just changed into my onesie. I still need to take off my makeup, um, sort through my presents, just kind of pack them away because I haven't done that um, since I opened them this morning. And I'll probably have some of the leftover pizza from yesterday because I'm feeling a little bit peckish. Um, have a bit of Prosecco that was left over from last night and um, just chill for the rest of the evening. Might do a little bit of editing as well. Um, Charlton's currently on the sofa drinking coffee and watching Home Alone 2. Um, but yeah, today was quite a good day. It was quite a chilled Christmas. It was really nice meeting his dad and um, his dad's partner. They have a really cute dog. So I'll see you guys at some point tomorrow. So good morning. Um, I'm just about to do my makeup because me and Charlton are going to be heading over to his aunt's house today. Um, yesterday I used the um, hair thing that my sister got me for Christmas. I asked her for this. It's from a brand on Etsy. I think it's called Curl Halo. So it gives you like heatless curls overnight. So we'll see if it works. It stayed in quite well overnight and it was really comfortable to sleep in. And uh, yeah, so just about to pop on my makeup now and then I'll show you guys my um, finished look. Oh, and I thought I would point out that the lashes I wore yesterday are the lashes I asked my um, sister for for Christmas. They were very light, but long lashes. They had quite a natural look to them. Um, and they were quite nice, I really, really like them. I've just popped my foundation on, so I'm using the Revolution IRL filter foundation again. Um, I've been using it quite a bit recently. Um, I did get two new ones uh, for Christmas. My um, Revlon Color Stay one and one from, I forgot the brand, um, but I asked for it. So, um, so I can't wait to try that one. It's like a tinted serum. So my hair and makeup is done. Um, it did curl my hair. I've just run my fingers through them. I've used some of my um, dry oil mist, which I love. I'm just not absolutely loving 
how it looks. It might grow on me though, but it did definitely work to curl my hair. Or Barclays or something. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of bad jokes on it. No? Say to itself in the mirror. Yes. Yeah, Rory hates lemons. I, I love lemons. Hate lemons. Okay, I love we'll, them. we'll keep your eye on it. You've mm. got to keep your eye yeah, on you it. Eat okay? them, didn't you ate them, didn't you? Right. Yeah. Yeah. You don't eat lemons. Where's the dice? Of course I okay, like sour so stuff. Yeah. I love sour stuff. Listen Josh. up. Listen you up. Like so you've got to throw the dice I and go around it. the table, but you've got to get a seat. So good morning and happy new year to you all. So today is actually New Year's Day and I thought I would quickly get ready so ignore how my hair and makeup looks. I've just got ready really, really quickly because I want to show you guys what I got for Christmas this year. I was going to do a separate video but I thought I might as well just combine it into this one. And as usual, I'm getting my festive content out really late. This happens to me every single year. I always end up uploading Christmas content in January or filming my what I got for Christmas on like New Year's Day or something like that. Um, but yeah, so you'll see this vlog at some point in January. Um, but I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. So it was Bella's first um, new year new year experience with the fireworks. She doesn't really like them, but she's not absolutely terrified of them. So I haven't actually vlogged since uh, last week. Was it Sunday? Monday. Last week, Monday. Um, I think it was last week, Monday, which was... Uh, which was Boxing Day. And me, Charlton, and his son, because he had his son for Boxing Day. So yeah, he picked up his son in the morning and then we got ready and then in the afternoon headed over to his aunt's house. So the people that were there were his aunt, his aunt's partner, his two cousins, their partners, and one of them had two children and then me, Charlton, and his son was there. So it was quite a lot of people. Um, it was quite nice there. We just had some drinks, a lot of drinks. I don't normally drink and I had like two and a half glasses of Prosecco and I was tipsy and then I started feeling really sick. I hadn't had any lunch um, and then we had dinner which was absolutely amazing the best Christmas dinner I've ever had in my entire life it was so good and I, I would love to just eat it all over again and then we just played a couple of games and uh, we had dessert and then we left like a little after that we was there for about four to five hours we didn't stay for the cheese ball and then obviously for New Year's which was yesterday I was working until 5 p.m so we got to finish an hour earlier um so I just came home done my usual Saturday bits and bobs I also washed my hair I didn't sell Celebrate New Year's. I never really do, so I just I just had a chilled one at home. Just got on my favourite jumper and my mum jeans. I haven't worn these jeans in ages. So I've actually got quite a few things to um go through. I actually wasn't expecting to get this many things this year, so I'm so 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 incredibly grateful. Um, so I got a pair of bands here, which actually arrived yesterday. Um, so these are from my mum. I ordered them, and she's given me the money for them. So I ordered these during the Black Friday sale I ordered the wrong size so I decided to get size up so I didn't actually expect these to arrive on time so I'm happy they did so I can show you guys in this video right so I don't really know where to start because I've got a lot of things to go through I wanted to say a really big thank you to everyone who got me a gift um I really wasn't expecting to get a lot of stuff this year and with family I only ask them for a couple of things because I don't really need anything apologize if you can hear any <laughs> like weird noises in the background that would be Bella um so I got quite a few cards this is my favorite one from one of my work colleagues it's so cute it's a cat and a dog by a fire. I've got a couple of cards this year. So first I'm going to start off with what my family got me. So I've got three things for my niece. This is the first year that I think she's done presents for everyone which is really sweet. So she got me this Bayless and Hardin gift set. When it was wrapped I was thinking what in the world is this? Because she wrapped, she got me three presents and she wrapped all three together. So I was kind of curious to know what it was. So it's this really cute bath and body set. And then the second thing she got me was this chocolate orange. I love chocolate orange and I'm so happy that she got me one because no one ever gets 
me a chocolate orange for Christmas unless I ask for it. I haven't actually eaten any of my Christmas chocolate yet and I love chocolate but I don't go crazy for it so I will most likely still have a lot of these chocolates halfway through the year. She also got me these eyelashes. I usually get her eyelashes every year because she loves wearing eyelashes just like I do. Um, as I said I got some vans for my mum so I've wanted a pair for myself so I'm so happy I finally have a pair. So a typical me I obviously just went for the all black one so this is what they look like my mum has the exact same pair she has them in a few colors um but she does have this one as well so it's just got suede at the front and along the sides and also at the back and it's just all black and these are so 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 comfortable um and i got these in a size five and i cannot wait not wait to wear them because I have needed like another pair of really comfortable shoes so that I'm not living in my trainers not that I've worn my trainers for a while I've actually been wearing my Doc Martens surprisingly um but I just wanted another pair of like comfy casual pair of shoes now I'm gonna go through the bits that my sister got me I did actually send her a list of things so these are all things that I asked for so the first thing is this from Curl Halo so this is that pink headband thing that I was using on Boxing Day and the packaging is absolutely beautiful I found this brand on Etsy and I've <laughs> forgotten to put the product back inside the bag. Um, let me see if I can grab it quick. So here it is. Um, it just says curl halo on it. So it just looks like this. It kind of looks like a dressing gown robe, but it's got like a thin wire in it. And just put it on your hair, wrap your hair around it, go to bed and you wake up with curls. And obviously it does work because you guys have seen it. And um, yeah, I've wanted something like this for a little while. I also asked her for these eyelashes. So I'm wearing them today. Um, I wore them on Christmas day, Boxing day. I've got them on today. Um, so they're these really cute lashes i also asked her for one of the body shop hemp hand creams because they're my absolute favorite and she very kindly got me two i only wanted one but she got me two and i'm so 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 happy so this should last me i don't know if it will last me the whole of this year we'll see definitely not i think i'll probably need like another one at some point the last thing she got me was fantastic feast the secrets of dumbledore didn't love this film to be fair um i am a harry potter fan um so obviously i've got to have all the harry potter dvds and all the fantastic beast dvds and I have the other two so I just needed this one uh we did actually go ahead and watch this in the cinema and I did watch it again with Charlton like a couple of months ago I think and I do kind of prefer the second movie over this one this one was a bit of a letdown um but yeah I just I just needed a dvd for my collection anyway right so that was everything that I got from family now I'll go ahead and show you what I got from Charlton and his family because they very kindly got me some bits and I was not expecting that so staying on the theme of Harry Potter um Charlton got me the Royal Mint um Harry Potter coin so this is the Hogwarts Express one don't know if you'll be able to even see that but they're bringing out four different Harry Potter um themed coins so so I got the first one which was just Harry Potter's face and then this is the second one Hogwarts Express and then there'll be two this year which will be Dumbledore and I think the Hogwarts Castle um so these are just collectibles and this is going to go straight into my Harry Potter collection so I'll open it up so you can see the illustrations because they're absolutely beautiful um and yeah it just looks like that so yeah if you couldn't tell i am a massive harry potter fan I absolutely love harry potter and i do collect wands key rings and um pin badges and the next thing i have to show you is actually a pin badge um so charlton got me this pin badge i asked him for so this is a chocolate frog one i absolutely love chocolate frog stuff i can't even i can't even tell you how many chocolate frog themed pin badges and key rings i have oh and i also like collecting the chocolate frog cards as well so when i so whenever i go to the harry potter studio tour you can actually buy a box with the chocolate frog in there and it's got a wizard card in each one um so i like collecting those too so this one actually opens up like this and it's got a little message on there and then you've got your little chocolate frog so cute love this i also got this bath and body works japanese cherry blossom spray and it's crazy that we finally have bath and body works here in the uk um so you can find it in next if you didn't know so we went to blue water a couple of weeks ago like two weeks ago and they have a really big bath and body Works section so i just picked out this little spray and it smells so good and the last thing he got me was these chocolates so i absolutely love Ferrero Rocher chocolates and i am so excited to eat these 
So that was everything I got from Charlton. And then on Christmas day, we went to his dad and his partner's house. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it there. So I got them a few bits and I didn't expect anything from them, but they got me a gift card. So there's 20 pounds on this. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to spend it on, um, but it's a John Lewis and Partners gift card. Oh yeah, so for Christmas, Charlton's aunt sent us all out this message to, uh, for this game. So we had to get something that we liked for five pounds and something that we disliked for one pound. So we had no idea what this game was going to be until we got there. And it turns out it was a dice game and whatever number you your dice landed on, you had to do like whatever the task was. So she had all the rules written out on a big piece of paper. We just stuck it on the wall and uh, we just went round in circle. And we had all of our stuff in the middle of the table and we had to pick things that we wanted and swap with people, whatever. So it depended on whatever the rules were, basically, if that makes sense. And I actually ended up with my five pounds thing that I brought. So I brought Ferro Rocher's for five pounds, uh, which is my thing that I loved. And I actually ended up winning my thing back. So I'm quite happy with that. And then we did pass the parcel. She put something for everyone in there. So my pass the parcel gift were these Fulton's chocolates. I'm so excited to eat these. There's some really good chocolates there. So these look really good. And then she also got me a gift, but they got me this Nivea gift set, which was really sweet of them. Um, so I think there's a low lotion, a shower gel and a roll-on deodorant. I can feel Bella on my toes. This is the sweetest little gift set and I've been getting into using like uh, Dove and Nivea products so this is perfect um, so I can't wait to use that. Now moving on to the stuff from my work colleagues. So I'll start off with this little bag first and how cute is this bag? It's absolutely beautiful so, and I sent him a list of free things that I would like just to make it easier for him and he got me all free and he also surprised me with these chocolates. So these are the Lint Lindor chocolates in white chocolate and strawberries. Well it says strawberries and cream but but this technically like white chocolate with like a strawberry filling. So he got me these and I asked him for this uh, e.l.f. foundation brush, which looks absolutely beautiful. I've been using a foundation brush to apply my makeup recently. I think it's a Wet n Wild one that I got for Christmas back in 2020. It's really good. So um, I just wanted another foundation brush to use really. And this one looks so, so, so much nice. It looks really nice and fluffy. And then he got me my foundation. This is my favorite one. So this is a Revlon Color Stay because I was running out of my last one. And then he also got me the L'Oreal Paris True Match uh, Plumping Tinted Serum. I have wanted this for ages and um, I'm hoping this is the right shade. When I put it on my hand, it did blend in perfectly with my hand, but my hand is like a little bit lighter than my face, but um, there, there's not really that many shades available, unfortunately. So I think this is the closest one to my shade because the one before it would be way too light and the one after it would be way too dark because it's more of like a, a chocolate brown, whereas I'm more of a kind of like caramelly color. She's just contemplating jumping up there which she is not allowed to and yeah so I'm so 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 excited to try this out so that was everything that I got from him and then from another one of my work colleagues I got two body shop bits which I was so 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 excited about so here we've got three shower gels so we've got my favorite one here the strawberry one mango which I haven't tried before but it smells really good and pink grapefruit which is definitely not one of my favorite shower gels so i think i'll probably give this to like my mom or sister so i don't really like the smell of uh this one it's really strong but this is such a cute little set and she also got me the body butters which i was so excited about because i've wanted to try the new body butters but i just knew i wasn't going to buy them for myself so we've got a really nice selection here so we've got the mango one which smells incredible can't wait to use that got the shea butter which i love this is one of the ones i used to like get in and then we've got the british rose i don't like I don't really like rose scented things, so I'll probably give that one to like my mum or my sister. Um, but I did actually open this to smell them, and the British Rose body butter didn't smell too bad. I think I might try it, but I just know in the past with like the shower gels and stuff, I've never really liked the scent. Um, and in the new body butter, I think the scent just smells a little bit milder to me, so we'll see how that goes. So I've just got one more person's gifts uh, to show you guys. So this is from another work colleague. And she's done so well. I didn't expect her to get me 
so much um so i'm really 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 grateful so um first of all i got this hufflepuff chocolate i'm glad she actually listens to like the things that i like because i didn't ask her for any of this stuff um but just in conversation she's remembered like things that i like so i really appreciate that so i got this hufflepuff um chocolate because obviously i love harry potter and i'm i'm a hufflepuff she also got me malteser mini reindeers and also cadbury's mini snowballs my two favourite Christmas chocolates. And then she also got me some bits from the body shop. How pretty is that? She put some um, little tissue paper inside. It's really pretty. Because she knows my favourite colour is pink. So she doesn't actually have a sense of smell. So she says she just picked a variety of things. So she did get me a selection of things. So uh, first of all, I'll show you this one because it's the same thing my other work colleague got me. She also picked me out the strawberry scrub and i thought they discontinued this which they did but they've obviously brought it back and i really like the new packaging to be fair and the last thing she got me was this little gift set which is quite pretty but it's all um the rose scented stuff which i don't particularly like but i love the little bag it came in so cute comes with the british rose hand cream such beautiful packaging though uh, it comes with the shower gel how pretty and then it also comes with the solid soap. That was everything that I got for Christmas. So it was way, way, way more than I was expecting. I did have a lot of people to gift to this year compared to last year. Last year, I only got a couple of bits because it was just family and um, I got a gift from the workplace that I was at last year. Um, so it was like one gift from everyone. But this year I got gifts for like about 13, 14 people, 15 actually. Yeah, I think about 15 people. So I obviously received uh, quite a few gifts back from some of them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching my what I got for Christmas. I was going to do this as a separate video, like I said. Um, um, but I thought I would just combine it all into one and just get it out, <laughs> just get it all out at the same time. So um, there's one more thing I have to show you guys and I guess I can class it as a Christmas present to Bella because I technically didn't get her anything for Christmas because I work in a pet shop so I bring her home things weekly um, so she's very 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 spoiled. This is not sponsored but I did work with a company called Happy and Polly. They sent me um, a cat tower and a mushroom scratching post which Bella loves especially the cat tower she uses it every day they reached out to me again and they very kindly sent me another cat tower this one is so cute and tiny they gave me a selection um and there were some really big ones that looked so pretty however I just don't really have the space for it at the moment plans to actually move out I know I keep saying that like every single year but I think uh this year like 2023 um I'm actually going to be moving out there's some like plans in place but I'm just gonna pack these <laughs> bits away because it's kind of a mess because right now I'm I'm literally just surrounded by presents so I'm gonna put these aside and I'll quickly show you guys uh Bella's cat tower it's in the living room so I'll bring it into my room to show you so here's Bella demonstrating um how much she loves her new cat tower but yeah I put this together last night and she absolutely loves it especially the ball on it it's so cute when she plays with that I'm not sure how much longer she's actually going to fit on this cat tower because it is quite a it's a small one and she's actually going to be a really 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 big cat but for now it's the perfect size for her isn't it Bella she's nine months now so she'll be a year the end of March. At the bottom we've got this little hidey bit which I don't think she's actually gone in yet. I haven't seen her go in there. So my battery is about to die um, so I am going to go ahead and end this vlog here. It's probably a very long vlog but I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I know it's I know it was a little bit different to my usual festive vlogs that I do um, but where I've been working full-time this year I just haven't had a chance to really film or do many like festive things. I didn't watch a single Christmas film this year and um, I just didn't really feel that festive this year to be honest but maybe next year I will do. Now I've got to quickly take a picture of all of my presents for Instagram. I like, just do a flat lay because I like to do that every single year. Um, a little behind as usual. And then at some point I've got to put these 
all the way so once again big thank you to everyone who got me a present i really appreciate it and yeah so once again happy new year to you guys i'm not sure when my next video will be out but i'll see you at some point in january i do have a week off in a couple of weeks because bella's getting spayed and i'm gonna be taking that week off so i might do a little bit of filming then i'm not too sure so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video so bye for now <laughs>